guys, today I'm doing my Scentsy haul, which includes the four scents of the summer collection and one of the diffuser sets. And it actually includes two other regular catalog scents just because I have, cor of course, have to get a six pack. But look at the tiny box. This is the tiniest box ever. I just think it's the cutest. That's what my order came in. So anyway, we're going to go through the two bars that are kind of regularly in the catalog, and then we'll go through the summer collection. So the first bar is the bestseller Amazon Rain. Now this is a very fresh scent. It's got that floral of the jasmine. You can smell that brightness. It's got coconut milk. It's got orange zest, I believe. I can't remember what else. I'll put the scent notes below. This is a very strong scent for me because I find jasmine scents strong. And when I put this down on my open layer, I can smell it for a long, long time. It, it lasts a very long time for me. So that is Amazon Rain. The other one I picked up is Churro Churro. So Churro Churro is in the bakery section. It's a very light bakery scent. It's a scent of churros plus cinnamon sugar, I believe. It's a very, you can smell that dough. You can smell the GBD, the golden brown delicious dough, the fried dough, and a little bit of cinnamon. Kind of a light cinnamon, but it's got a little bit of a complexity note to it. It's very, very light. For me, I really love this scent, but I find it a little on the light side for me. But I'm going to warm through this bar because I only warmed through my testers for my edition of Tester Tuesday, and I will let you guys know what I think. Okay, so let's go through the four summer scents now. They called it a pick your own adventure. So two of them are kind of nautical based and two of them are camping based. And I think maybe they just couldn't decide what to go for. So they just kind of did both. But I was kind of saying that we had a lot of aquatic scents in the catalog and yes, it is spring and summer, but we have a couple more to go through. So we're gonna do that now. So the first one is Driftwood Bay. So the scent notes for this are sea salt, white cyclamen and sun bleached driftwood. Now, one of the Aladdin sets had cyclamen, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Maybe Orville got a great deal on, <laughs> came home one day and he said, Heidi, I got a bunch of cyclamen oil on a great deal. And she's like, great, now we got to use it in everything. Anyway, cyclamen. So let's smell this one. Whoa, this one is strong. It's a strong, aquatic, fresh scent. Very astringent, kind of like soapy cologne smell in with that driftwood. It's very, very strong, like burns the nose, kind of nose hairs strong. Woo! I think this one is going to be quite intense. This one would be great for a man's body wash. So I think they put this one in the counter clean and also in the dish soap, which is a little bit of an odd approach. But yeah, it's definitely man's body wash very intense you know he's coming <laughs> he's he's nice and clean if you like masculine clean vibrant fresh aquatic slightly soapy scents then that's the one for you okay the next one we're going to talk about is endless sea look at the color beautiful color i love it endless sea let's smell it as i bring up the okay this one is softer endless sea let's let her rip it says it's basically Sea breeze, airy musk, and linen sailcloth. Yeah, this one is soft. It's like a very soft cotton with a freshness. You can definitely smell like a lot of that fresh sea breeze, but it doesn't smell like a salty scent at all, which I don't care for. And the musk is very, very like a perfumey floral musk. It's not like a cologne musk. It's a very pretty scent clean soft delicate it's like a laundry scent that's kind of been taken down a few notches a lot of laundry scents are very very intense this one is soft subtle intricate pretty clean and fresh i like that one it might be on the soft side i'm going to see how that one warms sometimes with laundry scents you put them in they're strong Okay, the next one is Gone Camping. So this one is the one that made me a little bit nervous from the scent notes. So we have basically Soft Lilies, which I'm fine with, Meadow Breezes, which I'm fine with, and Amber Woods, which I don't know about. Let me see. 
Oh my gosh, I can smell I can smell it from here. No, <laughs> this one is not good. <laughs> I don't like this one. If you like this one, I'm sorry. Whoa. <laughs> okay. It smells like rubber. It smells like the bottom of someone's brand new boots. Thick boots, like steel toe boots. Leather, you can almost smell like leather and rubber. It's like the amber, that's what it's making it smell like leather boots. But more the bottom of the boots. Oh my gosh, okay. No, I don't smell lilies. No, I don't smell meadow breezes. I wish I smelled a meadow breeze, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, for me, when I don't really like a scent, I actually put it in my overnight warmers to kind of, so I don't smell it very much. And I will warm this somewhere else, but if I think it's going to be the way I think it's going to be, it's going to go in my overnight warmers. But I will report back on Gone Camping. I've never thrown out a Scentsy scent yet, so I usually power through. This one is not for me. All right, the last one is Toasted Marshmallow. This is the one that kind of intrigued me the most because I, I definitely like this kind of scent. I'm a marshmallow girl. This says this summer staple goes gourmet with hints of smoked caramel and vanilla bean malt. So Sounds good. Yes, this one, you can smell the toasty. You can smell the caramel. You can smell the toastiness. You can smell a little bit of smoke. It's not too, too much. I mean, I'm okay with smoky scents. I can smell that vanilla bean and I can smell malt. You can sell, smell malt in this because it's kind of like the same malt that you get in caramel sugar cone. So if you're kind of scared of that and you like caramel sugar cone um, and you're not bothered by a little bit of smoke and you like vanilla scents that are nice and rich, then you're probably going to love this. This is going to be a good mixer, but maybe it has to be limited to what it can be mixed with because of that tiny bit of the smoky char of the the marshmallow for me it's not very much but for some people I can see it being a bit too much mmm I like this one this one is good toasted marshmallow probably about a medium um, intensity on that one okay let's talk about the one I picked up on the oil pack it's the deserted island three pack of oil which is a five milliliter set now I did not get the gone camping one because there was a few of the scent notes that kind of made me nervous I didn't really want the one with maple. I have a feeling that one will go into clearance, so if you want to get a good deal, maybe wait it out a bit. I don't know. That's just my prediction. Okay, so the great news is the scent notes are right here, so I can get rid of my phone. The first one we're going to talk about is Deep Sea Dreaming. This one has Cassava Melon, Pink Plumeria, and Algae Absolute. Let's let her... Deep Sea Dreaming. Mmm. Mm, you definitely smell melon. It almost comes across like an orangey grapefruit. Mm, that's nice. I love this one. Because I love grapefruit and I love orange. It kind of reminds me a little bit of that. With like a tiniest bit of floral in the background. Not very much. Mainly heavy on the cassava melon. Which I think that's what it's heavy on. That's nice. I like that one a lot. Ocean Motion is the next one. Coconut, tuberose, and vanilla. This one's soft. I can smell coconut. I can smell vanilla. And you can smell like a clean floral in the background. Hmm, that's pretty good. Very soft. That is Ocean Motion. The last one is called Sun Sweetened. This one is basically coconut water, pineapple nectar, and jasmine petals. Sun Sweetened. Okay, this one is very soft. Mmm, I feel like I want to drink it though. It smells good. I don't think you should drink it. It's like a nice soft coconut with the sweetness of the pineapple and then you get a little touch of the floral. It just creeps in there. It's good. I think this is going to be like really nice, especially if you don't like scents. A lot of diffuser oil scents are like herbal and lavender and you know, like a lot of greenness. This is very different. Anyway, I really like these. Let me know what ones you really like from the summer collection. I think my favorites are definitely, I like the Fragrance of Endless Sea, but I wish, I'm hoping it's going to be strong enough. And I like Toasted Marshmallow quite a bit. This one quite a bit. This one is very masculine, Driftwood Bay. 
and very clean and vibrant. And I think it's going to be strong. I think it's going to be a heavy hitter. You can definitely smell that driftwood. And gone camping may have to go, go, go away. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm going to warm it because I've never thrown away a Scentsy scent yet, but this one I just don't know about. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. We'll see. <laughs> if you want a sample of gone camping, let me know. Anyway, thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.